right where we left off. I'm gonna continue. The artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay, Operation Blinding Shroud. New research available, xenobiology, um, weapon fragments, any materials, melt, uh, recombination, artifacts recovered, three sector corpses, six weapon fragments, and 20 melt. Continue. So, we need me to go to mission control. Right? Wrong. Back. Oh, first, first, first. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Commander to engineering. Commander engineering. to engineering. Okay, this is research. Start a new research project. Okay, normal, eight days, project cost three times sector corpses. It's crucial that we gain a throughout understanding of the alien physiology in order to develop weapons and tactical better suited to combat them. To combating them. Weapon fragments, alien materials. The alien pay appears to be using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've ever seen. Our cursory examination has already given us ideas for ways to improve the soldier's current body armor, but more research is required. Mel recommendation, uh, recombination. The invaders appear to have deployed canisters of this strange substance in the human populated areas. Perhaps as an experiment, it might also be a weapon of some kind. Further analysis could shed light into this potential danger and application. Commander to engineering. Commander Shut up. to engineering. And weapon fragments. These fragments are all that remain of the powerful alien weaponry we've encountered so far. Further study could lead to advance in our own weapons development programs. Okay, I think xenobiology is needed to progress the game. But I do, I, I do love me some armor. I'm gonna go for alien materials. I agree, that does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Okay, Dr. Fallen, thank you. We're gonna go to engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Hey, Dr. Shan. Could we build... Let's see. I'm gonna buy a medicaid off, right off. Because that's really helpful. Yeah, one. And we do have a satellite. Hmm. Do I need another satellite? I don't remember. It's been ages. So, let's go back. We are going to mission control. Yeah, that's the thing. And we're gonna. Alien materials, we're gonna scan for activity. Alien abductions reported. Alien abductions reported. It's via abduction sites. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Commander, we picked up. In progress are marked on the hollow globe. We picked up multiple. Sorry, I couldn't read that. I was waiting for him to finish talking. So, we have Russia panic. It's like a panic mission, right? Panic. Mission difficulty easy. Reward 200. Egypt. Mission difficulty moderate. Scientists 4. And Australia. Panic. Moderate. Moderate difficulty. Engineers 4. So do I want money, scientists for research, or engineers? What did engineers do again on this one? Oh. Man, I can't remember. I think it was the time he needed to construct new facilities or something like that. Mm, 
I could go for scientists. I mean, the panic is low on all three of them, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, which matter? Uh, we should go for the one that has more panic on it. But I guess I'll go to Egypt? Question mark. Sydney. I think I'll go to Sydney. Why? Because see, this, this is my base of operation, right? So I can easily go to Egypt from here. I can monitor Egypt with satellites. And Sydney, well, I could technically do it, but if an, if an UFO is present and I don't have a, a interceptor ready, it's just gonna take panic. So I'm gonna get the engineers. Yeah, confirm. All right, our squad. We'll be taking a heavy, a sniper support, and somebody else. Let's, can we choose somebody else? Okay, we're gonna take one of each. And since our assault is wounded, we could take Els Kraus, Alan McGregor, Lumin Chaprunova, um, Marcus Pena, Susana Sekolvo, Sekolviova. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. Um, Els Kraus, Els Kraus, Paul Walker. Hmm, I think I'll take uh, Paul Walker. I mean, we have to complete a mission to find out what his role is. So, since you're support, I am gonna edit the unit with your loadout. I'm gonna change a frag grenade for the med kit. And that's it, I don't think I can do anything else. I mean, I could customize, but you know, I kinda like the randomness. So we're gonna be taking that. And okay, we're gonna launch the mission. See the time passing, 2nd of March, 2015. Strike one, prepare for landing. The sky range has arrived in the ship. Let's begin assault. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay, Operation Patient Breath. Alien abductions, Sydney, Australia. Mission brief. Alien abduction in progress. Melt energy signature readings are positive. Site is clear of civilians. Collateral damage is not a concern. Okay. Mission objective. Neutralize all hostile targets. Locate and secure melt canisters. That's like a well, it's a objective, but you know, and, well, more canisters, more things I can do with the melt. So it's already good, but you know, I'm not gonna risk my soldiers. Especially in Iron Man, Iron Man mode. So. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Hey, I won't. So. Since I don't have my assault, which I usually move first. You're my grenadier. Right? You're. Yeah, heavy. Well, heavy. Just kind of used to by now calling them Grenadiers for XCOM 2. Um, okay, you're support. You're somebody I don't know. And you are our sniper. Okay, well, we'll take uh, Malakova. Oh, no, Walker. Walker. And you can go here to full cover. Roger that. Um, sniper's going to be a little bit behind. And you know. You're on fire. I don't think you can blow up after that. Should I? Well, let, let me just see this. Okay, just the straight bridge. So, I'm gonna move our support further down. Hopefully, I don't activate nothing yet. Well, on the meld, which will be um. Cover all. Well, I have five turns to recover it. I'm gonna move you here. I wanna spread you out a bit. 
and you're gonna go right here. Okay, we have five turns. We're not that behind. So let's just go to Overwatch. Everybody, Overwatch. Can you? Oh yeah, you can't Overwatch. You can hunker down though. That that was a cover bonus and provides immunity to critical hits by reducing sight radius. I think that counts as being full cover. Yeah. Okay. Did did I did you go into Overwatch? Overwatch. Okay. I'm gonna move you. Well, you're a sniper. If you move, you can fire. So let me move you across. Okay. So we saw them. Well, they saw us. Can I take a shot at you? No, I cannot. How about you, sniper? No. You're a grenadier. Can I take a fire rocket? No. I should probably dash here, hunker down. No, I can't hunker down. It's just gonna be a dash and you're gonna take half cover. Or I could move you here. So I can potentially next turn do a fire rocket. So I can rocket the so I can fire rocket. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move Roger all workers that. to the left. Um, where can you go? I'm gonna move. Yeah, I'm gonna dash you. So next turn, you have potential to fire a rocket. Of course, you're gonna be in half cover. You, I don't think you have. Um, you have headshot. You don't have the sight. That's if another squad can see the enemy, you can take a shot. So, I should probably just move you closer so you can take a shot. Hopefully, they don't blow up the, the car. I'm just gonna go Overwatch. So, oh, here. Overwatch. Watch. Alright, you're the Wii because you have an ability. Okay, if you move, I might be able to shoot at you. No. Oh, great. Overwatch. Oh, okay. I got a shot in. Werner. Yeah. Did you miss? You're gonna hit that. That's gonna blow up. If that blows up, this might catch on fire or it may blow up. But I do have a headshot. I have a 24 and a 44 to hit. Hmm, could I just move? Okay, I, I can shoot my rocket. But would that destroy the canister? Do the canisters get destroyed or can't remember? Okay, you have a 19 and a 39. Can I move you? You have 40% chance to hit. Okay, I may be able to flank you. Well, no, I'm not because I need to get over here. His side to flank him. Uh, I would like to shoot the rocket, but since this is on fire, I don't want to take the chances of... See, if I fire a rocket, I cannot move, so... Yeah... Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna move you here. Oh, I forgot he's in overwatch. Hopefully you will miss. Oh, no luck. Okay, well, that means your overwatch is over. I could throw a grenade, guaranteed a kill. Kind of concerned I might destroy the melt canister, to be honest. Hey, yeah, friendly, damage to a friendly object. No, yeah, that's gonna destroy it. I have a 20 and a 40%. I think I would love to shoot from there, but you know, fire, and all that. I could move you. Yeah, in fact, I think I am gonna move you forward. 
And you have a 19 and a 39. And I'm gonna move you closer. Okay, and I'm gonna take a shot at you with a 60%. Wait, that's 60. We have 40 on the other one. You have 19 and a 39. You have a 20 and a 40. And you have 24 and a 44. I think you have the best shot on him. 40% chance. Fire upon him. Oh, nice. Okay. With that being done, I have a 39% chance and a 40% chance. Hopefully... Oh, no luck. Okay. Fire. 39%. To hit. Yeah, that's way off. My main concern is if I take a shot at you, well, okay, this is gonna blow up, I know that. But will that blow up this, or will this catch on fire and I have another turn to move? I'm not gonna risk it. So I have to move back and I can't do nothing. I'm just gonna hunker down. And. Hopefully, yeah, that's gonna blow up. You went on fire, so. I could have easily taken a shot. You're gonna run away. You might alert other ones. You know, I, I kinda want want to hey. You're gonna move this way. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, hopefully you can take oh I think it's gonna be too far away. Wait, wait. Oh it's not. Hopefully, I can blow up everything and kill them all. Yeah, take the shot. Hopefully, you don't miss. But you can miss. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. I know, That's but I mean... To consider. I killed two of them. And a third one. Nice. Okay, you're gonna make a run for it. Um, that's already on fire. I don't think it's gonna blow up. Location confirmed. Because we have one more turn in the meld. And you're gonna move up here. Recibido, señor. That's it. Yeah, that's gonna blow up. Oh, there was another one. I thought I got them all. It's okay, it's okay. Good thing I moved to cover. Cover to cover, that's how you should move. Okay, you're gonna collect that. You have a 80% chance, you have a 59, and you have 64. Okay, Walker, I'm gonna move you. No, I'm gonna shoot. Yeah, just plain out shoot him. I mean, 80% is good enough. Yeah. He's dead. Okay. Now we can move forward. Move yeah, boy. One, you're a sniper. Shouldn't be moving you yet, but fuck it. Um, I th think you already blew up, but um, just to be on the sure side, I'm gonna move you here. And I'm gonna move you up. Just to get you closer. And you're gonna go to Overwatch. And you're gonna hunker down. Okay. There's still some aliens left. You can hear them. Warner, can you. Okay, that didn't blow up this turn, so I think it's not gonna blow up next turn. Okay. So there's the other Mel. We have three, three turns on him. Okay, they're gonna run for cover. I have a 47 and a 48 percent. You cannot see them because you suck as a sniper. If I put you here, they can easily come around and flank me. Hmm. I think I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. Or. 
Can I? Oh, I don't have grenades here. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance. You see, damn, I'm really far away. I mean, if I if I put myself here, I'll have cover from this arrow, from this row. So if he comes around here to this side right here, he can shoot. Cause I'm gonna be flanked. So okay, you're gonna move all the way up. You're not gonna be. Able to oh, I think you can sure. Yeah, you can shoot with that. Okay, I'm gonna have to reload sooner or later. All move up a bit. You, I might make you make a run for it over here. In fact, okay, you already moved, so you have a 47 and a 48, and you have a 40, a 54 and a 55. Take a shot. I mean, it's gonna be too damage, but. Yeah. Okay, take a shot at 48% to hit. I don't know what you said, but I think it has to do like I suck at this, something like that. Pretty sure that's what she meant to say. He's just gonna overwatch. See if they if they try to move, try to take a shot at them. Of course they cannot move, or they don't want to move. Oh, I forgot about that. He can get like more life, possess, and, and some more skills. Okay, now you can use your sniper. I think that if I take you out, oh no, 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 don't fire the sniper. Uh, don't fire that, fire your sniper. I think that if I kill you, I kill the other one, something like that. I wanna get shot. He's hit. Show us your sniping. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Good work out there, strike one. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Yeah, that went well. Yeah, I remember something like if an alien was being controlled or was buffed, if you kill the alien that was that was doing the buffing, you kill the other one. Yeah, I remember something like that. It's coming back to me, it's coming back to me. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, we got one wounded. Of course, if you finish the mission and there's no more, well, if you kill every alien, you automatically complete uh, all the objectives, the collecting of things. Commander, to the situation. Commander, to the situation. I think I got a promotion. I think. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna be wounded. You are are heavy. Yeah. Oh, you're another heavy. Okay. Well. While the other one rests, you can take her spot. I'm still missing an assault. Artifacts recover, sector corpses, weapon fragments, and mail. New facility available. Workshop. Each workshop at five engineers to your staff. Adjacent adjacency bonus plus ten refunds and resources used when building vehicles, foundry objects, and facilities. Use the build facility option to engineer and construct this facility. Okay. XCOM squad deployment to Australia has successfully stopped the alien abduction in Sydney. Australia is deeply grateful for your help and hopes that these rewards will be of use to the XCOM project. I got four engineers. Panic has increased across Africa and panic has increased across Europe. We will be in touch, Commander. Sure, you will be in touch. Commander, to the situation room. Situation. Commander, the situation. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. Okay. I do have one satellite and I think I have one uplink available. You see, the thing is, since I did the mission, Egypt went up in panic, Russia went up in panic, and if the panic level gets too high, we will lose 
that um their support so I mean Russia can I launch a satellite Spanish satellite coverage is crucial to intercepting alien craft and maintaining the support of the Council's member nations. Deploy satellites to gain monthly funding from Excom Council nations, monitoring countries on the I'm same. You. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Reading. Uh, monitoring countries of the same continent will greatly increase the monthly rewards granted by that continent if every country in that continent is monitored by Excom satellites. An additional continent special bonus will be granted. We will need interceptor deployment to in continent in which we have satellite coverage. Interceptors can be hired and transferred throughout the hangar facility. Okay, I have one available and I have one or two in orbit. Okay, so you three are in group. You three are in group. Um, I, ha I can get all in. I think I get all in regardless if I have satellite coverage or not. Yeah. You see, uh, it's highlighted. I mean, Russia. It's a bit far Nothing off. Nothing to report at the moment. Boards are clear. I need four satellites there because it's United Kingdom, Russia, France, Germany. Um, I could go to. Egypt, no, Russia. I think I'm gonna put a satellite in Russia. You will create 150 more per month, and the panic level will decrease. So. Yeah. Satellite uplink there we go. Maximum yeah, and there's no Additional interceptors. Can I go back? Could I go to the hangar? Yeah, I think I have two. Yeah, I have two interceptors. I'm gonna move one to. I think uh, it was Russia, right? So I'm gonna move it to Europe. Transfer. From here, you can arrange to have our interceptors transferred to bases throughout the world. By stationing our fleet on various continents, we'll have a much better chance of intercepting new UFO contacts in those areas. Yeah, okay. I take three days to get there. I mean, the the ravens are not that good, but at least there's something. So... Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but... Every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Well, you can count on me to use explosives all day if that gets my soldiers alive the through the mission. Arrived this morning, Commander. We're all Nine engineers. Have more help down here. Got a build facility. Oh, okay, here we, we go. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if okay. we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately. The deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. So, I usually like to use the steam vents for power. If I put on a set, I, I ain't gonna need an air satellite. Satellite. So, I would prefer it to put it. I, I can put it here. Get a bonus. Bonus. Um. Yeah, I can build satellite. Oh wait, I need not enough engineers on staff, I need 10 engineers. Well, I guess we'll just have to dig. It'll cost 2 power, we have 25 or 37, that's 10 per month, and 5 days. Yeah. Crews are on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility See, is um, operational. I'm gonna have to walk across. To go to get to that steam, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I mean, steam put out a lot, a lot of power, and I can use it on a satellite, but, but I, I will need engineers for that. So, for now, I think I can go to the barracks to the officer training school. Okay, to the rank of sergeant to unlock squad size, new guy, new size, automatically promoted to the squad rank, which reveals what they are. So I mean, I don't have to do a mission to see what class I'm getting. That's good. Lead by the external squad leader, so it's to his or her will for that of nearby lower will squad mates. Okay. So, I would, I would love to get rapid recovery. So I'll just heal twice as fast for wounds taken in combat. Lieutenant to unlock this upgrade. Okay. So, with that being done, we have... 
a ship transfer to Europe, a satellite operation over Russia, and an access lift. And then other materials. Three, four, five, seven days in a cancer report. With that, I'm going to leave this episode here, and we'll be back on the next one. Thank you.